Boom. Well, I want most of the name <laughs> Shamai guys. Welcome to WW Scenix. Christo E WW Scenix. Well, welcome to Modern with Martin. Yeah, in the house. Hey, Dean is here somewhere, but we have got Amy in the house as well. Woo. Uh, oh, hang on. Hang on. Oh, that's Amy's. <laughs> <laughs> Amy's one of the quick Amy run. So I just heard myself speaking over there with like, the delay of YouTube. So uh, we should do that and have beeps. Beep. <laughs> He's stuck in the mud, stand by. Oh, he's stuck in the mud. Oh, it's over. Oh, my head's chopped off. <laughs> Probably up a bit. I'm bobbing up and down again. There we go. Right, okay. Um. Oh, currently six viewers. Is that ten viewers just now? It's gone down six. <laughs> it's four likes. <laughs> What's that when people just shot off? Can you all hear me? Can you all see me? Ray, you normally the first one to answer. Let me know. And Ray, last week you had a bit of a technical issue. Not me. So let me know if you can hear me and see me. I'm not going to speak until we turn. That's not flashing. No, that's not flashing. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning. Can you all? Can <laughs> Craig? Let me know. Somebody? Let me know. All fine. Brilliant. Yeah. Good evening. Yeah. Can you hear you? Excellent. Right. So let me do it again. So scrub the first bit. Because there's nothing in the guys. So, Shamai, Shamai guys, welcome to WW Scenics, Croiso E WW Scenics. Uh, we were modeling with Martin and Amy's in the house. Woo! And Dean's in his room. He's just shouting, woohoo, in his room. <laughs> <can you> <laughs> um, I had a hangover issue last <laughs> year. Uh, right, Muds are live. Woohoo! They are live on the website. Spanners, can you go and put a let out a. a, a link on there please they're on WW Scenix I've been told they're live um, so whoosh here we go they're, they, they're available they, they people are panicking downstairs because they went live and they're like oh my god <laughs> yeah so sales go through the roof yeah so our muds are live um, so they can better get made today so <laughs> no we've got loads trust me we've got loads so excellent right uh, hello Thomas yeah um, Craig's in the house Howard Hello, Howard. Uh, is it your first time on with us, mate? I haven't seen your uh, do apologize. I haven't seen your name before. But welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, Timber, I mean, Ray, Kelly, Brian. Uh, Kelly, I, your, your, your weight is over, Kelly. I can see you. I, mean, I can see the tension coming through Facebook saying, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, we, and we teased you. We, did, we, we, were, we were waiting for me to allow it to say yes. But I got a message earlier on to say, they are now live and I kept it secret for you for at least half hour. So yes, I'm gonna enjoy my um, enjoy my coffee at eleven o'clock knowing that you're scowling at me. So. <laughs> Gordon, good morning. Yeah, morning to you, mate. Excellent. Uh, I hope you've had a lovely weekend and a lovely week. Um, I'm still glowing. Mm. We're gonna have to sort the lights out, didn't you? Uh, so I've done a done a few more things to the model. Yeah, you know what I mean? Amy's got a button, the finger on the buttons go, so there you can see. Right, we got some, some cracking photo shots and stuff. Let me just put that in the way. Um, I, I got some ideas that I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm going to get, I'm really nervous of doing this one, right? Really nervous of doing it um, uh, because it's an open air, uh, an open uh, section of river by here, right? Uh, and I am <laughs> I'm, I'm like panicking a little bit. Um, because I want to make sure that we dam it properly. And I've got, uh, I got these ready to go. Yeah, they're just an acrylic. We cut them on the laser cutters. So I've got them ready to go. Um, so I, what I am going to get is, is an extra pair of hands. So Dean, when, when am I ready? I'm going to call Dean in and uh, me and Dean are going to dam it up properly. Make sure that it doesn't, doesn't leak because there's a lot of resin going into this. Yeah, um, and obviously there's a lot of work gone into it before. And we, Amy wants it for, for, for good photos. And I don't want to come in tomorrow and it be all over the table because that <laughs> will just make me cry. Really, really will make me cry. I'll have to start again and I don't want to start again because there's some really some nice bits on here that's turned out really really smart um, so I don't want to I just don't want to do it so um, but what I have been doing and I, I'm going to see if Amy can get some close shots now is, a, is some painting uh, I've done some I put a post out the other a couple of days where this what I put two fish in um, now two fishies now I, I the reason I painted the fish and I literally just slopped the paint on, right? And honest to God, right? Um, don't be nervous, mate. It'll be fine. Yeah, thanks, buddy. I, I know, I know. I'm going to be over... I'll probably over-damn this. 
Uh, because of that work, I hope you turn that heater off. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cooking in you. Yeah. <laughs> so you've got to be able to the hum of the heat down. It was cold in here earlier on, but now it's like it's been blowing over to you and it's a boiling. But there we go. Uh, it's because it's open round here. You know, I mean, it's a lot. It's gonna be a lot of weight, so I'm gonna over dam it. Yeah, you know, what I mean, so we're gonna put tape onto it, and obviously you're gonna use the hot glue gun, uh, and just be, just be literally, you know, what I mean, over cautious. Uh, morning Andy, thanks for joining me. Yeah, um, nice to have you, buddy. Yeah, 17 people in already, that's fantastic. I think people don't want to watch fences, they want to watch us. <laughs> Excellent, that's what I want to say. So, painting fish, I, the fish are tiny, even they, you know, what I mean, that, that, so if I bring this one up, yeah, you know, what I mean, I'm gonna have to put my glasses on it, right? Um, where, where is it? Right? There, no, go one. on. That one there, is it? That one there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, go back to the other one. Oh, yeah, it's so that one. Yeah, uh, let's see if we can focus it. If I can get it focused, I can't get it. Yeah, there somewhere. There, there. Well, you can see, yeah, that 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 little blob on the top. Yeah, there we are. I can try and get it. Stay. That's one of the fish. Okay, so they were tiny, right? And um, if I bring this one up because this is a nice color, right? It's sort of the color just literally slopped a lot of black on, slopped a bit of brown on as well. Yeah, uh, and then I, I mix some grey colours in, and when it when it when it's into the model, when it flows into the model, right? Honest to God, it really does. They look awesome. They look like camouflage fish, but they're meant to be there. It's, it, it's brilliant. They came up really nice. And then obviously, then I've done the done the the fish eagle, which we've had a bit of a um, had a bit of a what I call it debate on it because they they say it's golden eagles and and then bald eagles. Now a bald eagle, the difference between a bald eagle and a fish eagle, right, is that the crest. So you can see the crest coming down there maybe, right, uh, let me do that. Oh, well, that's better, yeah. You can see the crest coming down his chest, yeah. Um, that's a fish eagle win, and then it's got the, the brownie, reddy tint onto it, right. Um, that's a fish eagle. A bald eagle has just his head is white. Yeah, just the top of his head is white, okay. So he's obviously going to be... Down like that, taking the fish out of the water. Right, sorry, I, mean, I keep changing <laughs> angles on Amy and work on it. Uh, so yeah, so you know, I mean, um, and I haven't painted, I haven't spent loads of time painting him, right? Because it's not about him; it's about the whole model, like you know, what I mean. But we will name this model as I don't know, when eagles fish or something like that. Where eagles dare? <laughs> if anybody, all the yeah, all the oldies out there knows that film. Okay, so um, basically, this first part of this morning is. Just placing some fish. Obviously, I got a nice long one. So, and what I've done then is the stems. Then, yeah, you can see them stems there, right? You might focus up in a bit, right? Um, I used in the end. I used. I got. I bought some gorilla glue, gorilla glue epoxy, right? But it didn't really work. It didn't go off. It was still tacky. So I had a bit of uh, this that um, that was sent to me to test, right? Um, and it's got a bit of a blue tint to it. Yeah, if you see that there, you can see that it's got a blue tint to it. So I thought, well, that might be smart. Um, but you literally can, you can only see the small amount, the small amount on there anyway, right? Uh, and I've selected a fish that's going to come out of the water because I want a nice small fish that comes out of the water, right? Uh, and obviously it's going to be like that, coming over the top of him. Oh, I thought that was falling in. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So just, you know what I mean, something like that, pulling out, or maybe a smaller one, if I got, got a smaller one, nice. I did select one, it's probably gone missing. No, well, that's a nice one. Yeah, it does look, you just about to see him. It's a big fish, in contrast, but again, I want it, I want it big, so you can see it, otherwise, if I do a small one, uh, I mean, well, that may be the same size, so that's a little bit smaller. So I think Dean did five, five, seven, eight, and ten mil for me. I think something like that. I think just about to see it. I think maybe there. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So he's coming out like that. Oh, uh, lovely assistant. <laughs> Hands were there. Uh, so there's going to be a long stem. I'm going to keep it long, sticking out. I might cut it off, and then once the resin's done, I can glue the stem back on the stem. If you know what I mean. That type of thing. Anyway, so um, that was the Gorilla Glue one, which is really fine, but, but there we go. 
Anyway, so what we're doing now, basically, right, is the good old super glue. Yeah, and then pick, pick some spots where we want to put them. So I've got two fish there. Okay, right. And Amy's going to be zooming in and out and all sorts of things as well in a bit. Right. The only thing I haven't got in here is plant life. Mm. We could have put a little bit of light chin. Dean, will you do me a favor? I'm going to speak to Dean now through, through, through the powers of camera. Dean, will you do me a favor? I'll run down and get some, only a, a couple of small bits of light chin, like greens, dark green, light green, maybe, maybe a bit of brown. Um, so I'm going to test something, okay? If you could, if you'd be so kind, sir. Thank you very much. In the meantime, I'll say hello to everybody. I am watching the correct channel, Martin. It sounds more like the National Geographic channel. <laughs> Ah, Andy. <laughs> uh, yes. Well, you know, I mean, I, I, we had an argument in the well, in the thing. So, ball stop it. <laughs> yeah, Craig. I not not no work. I Amy say hello to to Marie uh, from me. Oh yes. So you've been speaking to Marie. Marie. Yeah. Good. Uh, so happy trolling number one just came. Uh, and so happy trolling number one it just came. <laughs> Uh, morning Mark, thank you sir, thank you for coming in. Uh, yeah, right, so uh, Dean's just, I guess you heard him running down, so he's going to get some, some light gin for me, and we're going to test. I'm not going to put a lot of light gin into it, because um, I've been nagged yesterday to, to, for maybe next week uh, to start uh, an underwater project, a thick underwater project. Um, I'm hoping if this resin, so this resin I'm doing today is a test resin that I've been sent. Um, you know, I, mean? I want to make sure that we get the right resin for uh, for for you guys, right? Um, so I'm going to test it on this one. I'm, I mean, fingers crossed, nothing goes wrong with it, right? And then um, maybe then uh, next week, if we've got enough of it, uh, I'm going to try and do a deep one over the next couple of weeks after that, which will be an under the sea type thing, so a coral and stuff like that. Anyway, more about that, what about? Want a Jess? How about the jetty or a boat with a chap fishing? <laughs> uh, morning, Tim. No, no, and this is and Donet. Right, where's Mark? Mark, Donet, don't you dare mention it. It's too late. River is water's going into it. Not, not what I call it. Lava. Right. Okay. So, talk about yourselves. Let's put some fish in. So it's a simple thing, that guys, right? And I've got some different angles here, right? So that one, um, is that the camera there? Yeah. Yeah, that one's on a different, a slightly angle to, uh, to, to everyone, so uh, he's starting to swim up. So I want him to tuck nice and low down onto it. So just trim, trim the stem. I, I trim it a bit tall first. Um, oh, I tell you, I haven't got my, there's tweezers. And then I try to have a look to see Yeah, he's starting to swim up. I like that. Okay. Excuse me, while I make a lot of noise. If not, let me do me a favor. In the first tray by here. Yeah. Or the second tray by there. There should be two. There should might be my two. There should be there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So got tweezers. Yeah. You know, I mean, always be prepared. Uh, and I'm just going to stick the fish. Uh, and again, I'm using super glue, right, guys? So if you can pick the fish up. Come in. It's like catching fish. <laughs> no, too early. One come in, and he's going up towards the surface. Actually, oh, where do we want this thing? Where do we want it? Deep. Yeah. So we want him there, don't we? Mhm. Mm do you want them that way? If I leave him there, I know that I have to keep a fish, and I put that fish there on the long stem. I know that that's going there, so then I can put it elsewhere. Okay, so super glued in, and then activator. Quick spray in the activator, off it goes. Cool. Got another fish now. Again, make it nice and long. 
different levels. So what we do and what the stem is for, yeah, is to glue it at different levels. So you've got one low, one high, you know, I mean, fish never swim in one, what I call it, they all swim all over the place, and they, you know what I mean? So with the guy fishing. <laughs> oh, come on, um, I won't mind, I'm going to have to rewatch a bit. I miss so much as some. Dean put the link in, so she's going to go buy muds. <laughs> yeah. I okay, so... And as by magic, our Dean. Nice one. So, uh, personally... Thank you, Brilliant. Personally, I hate my gym. <laughs> For the passion, right? Because you know, I mean, it's the old, old, old type of modeling and stuff like that. But, but, so this, Amy, haven't seen it. This is like Jim. This could work, lovely underneath it. Okay, right? It's a brown, so a bit of brown, and all we want is bits of it like that. And I will glue it down because this might float, but it might look good. Underneath it, underneath the resin, as like dead foliage or growing, growing foliage and stuff underneath. And again, it's just an added detail. See, see that? See how that mm. look, look for coral? Yeah, I think it'd be perfect. Yeah. So sorry, we, me and Amy are talking for our next project. So. Yeah, just a bit of added detail, a bit of colour as well, because it's just needed, I think it, just thinks it needs a little bit of colour. So perfect for, uh, and I, I believe the resin should, it should be fine under the resin, I can't see why not. Unless somebody over there is screaming at me now, saying, don't put it on, it's not going to work. Well, we'll soon find out, it'll probably rise to the top and float and ruin my model and... I'll be screaming, why? Oh, so there's another, you know what I mean, orange colour, that'll be a nice colour mm. to go under. I've got a fish there somewhere, haven't I? I've dropped. There. Oh, it's better. It's okay. I'm going to make sure it's done. <laughs> Put it on there so I know. Because if it goes into there, you're not going to see it. Yeah, I saw that. I saw uh, Luke's um, model. It was nice. It's good. Yeah, uh, Luke Towin loves the detailer. Yeah, our applicator, the detailer. He loves it. Yeah, and he uses our grass now as well, so. Nice chap as well, to be fair to him. So there's just a bit of colour break, breaking up, you know, we put a bit of colour into the dial underneath, and it's very delicate as well. Uh, and there's another colour I got, is light green. Uh, it's vibrant, but again, it's in small amounts. It should look quite smart. Oh, look at that, that underneath the thing, that's going to look stunning, that is. I'm already looking forward to the next project. Are these all the colours that we do? We've got lots more. We've got blues and... We've got blues, reds, yellows. I don't know if we've got pink. We might have. Pink's good for under the sea. Yeah. Again, this, you know, I mean, a small little detail like this, right, will work underneath the resin because the resin will sort of magnifies everything. I'm not having this as a fast flowing. Uh, river either, like you know, I mean, it's going to be a sort of a slow and low 
Slow and low. It's got cars on it. I watch cars at the weekend. fishing that I got. going a bit that's fine that's fine that's fine that's fine that's fine that's fine put some more dark green bits and pieces I wasn't gonna do this but I just I thought of this we talked about it yesterday and then I thought I just looked at it this morning I thought do you know what it needs something else it needs foliage it needs that greenness and whatness Spray that in. <coughs> uh, just quickly have a look. Peaks is here. <laughs> hey, that's so, so nice to see Sambo in. Um, uh, yeah, to be fair, you know, I mean, it, it, it is like Chin is. Believe it or not, the war game is absolutely love like Chin, right? Uh, they they think, find find it's awesome. And when it's used on a base and stuff like that, it does look really nice. And I do use it with C form as well, you know, I mean, to give you that, because it's a good structure to add the foliage on top. But when it when it's coming in here in little bits, uh, and we, we'll build it up now, right? And, and obviously. Wait, whoop, I'm go, going on roll up. Oh, <laughs> wrong camera. <laughs> wrong camera. <laughs> okay. yeah, you know what I mean? Um, uh, excellent. Friends of mine, Roy, Roy and Wilma. Excellent. Cool. 23. There we are. We're, we're, getting, we're getting a lot of people coming on. Brilliant. Five likes. So come on, Spanners. Get them going. Um, <laughs> Yeah, uh, keep it clean, boys. Keep it clean. It's a family show. Um, so yeah, light chin. You know, I mean, with under here, it should the vibrant colours will the, the resin will, like I said, magnify the vi vibrant colours and it'll look really smart. And only, and, but if we don't, you know, if I put a big clump like that, it's going to look pants. You know, what I mean. So again, it's it's about the amount you use and where you place it and the delicacy of it. You know, I mean, the, the modelling of it. <laughs> see you don't see these on other people's work who will film their modeling look get off <laughs> i'll change it i didn't like that one anyway didn't look right Add some more, I'll add some more fish now as well. I'm glad you told them this. <laughs> Dean's coming in looking concerned as well. Oh. Okay, I think it's a bit of there, doesn't it? In the mean, so nice bright colour. Gearish. Standing up. 
actually on the rock. Right, some more fish. There's a piddly one over there, so I'm going to put that right in the back in the corner over there somewhere. So look, this is going to be a bit of fun. So pick a spot. I'm going to put it next to the rock over there. So hopefully it'll shine out against the rock. I can remember now where I put the super glue. <laughs> chuffed because there was a bit of <laughs> there was a bit of that uh what is it that color uh can you see it there's a bit of that color sticking on top on top of him but there looked like an antenna I thought, <laughs> oh come on and it, as i sprayed it it blew it off thank god for that <laughs> oh, classic okay some more paper stuck to it So this fish is sort of swimming downwards, so we want to try a nice big one. But he's also going the other way. So what do I turn him? Behind it, so we can see. Yeah. Can you see him? Right there. Just about. And that's what I wanted. Mm. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's what I wanted uh, these fish to to blend in, you know, because I want people, you know, the, the idea of a diorama, for me anyway, the idea of a diorama is um, is that you look for things, you look for surprises and stuff. Uh, you know what I mean, and, and these fish will you you you're gonna spend time looking through the water. You know what I mean, at eye level, at that level, and you're gonna you, you're gonna look for fish, but then then in the meantime, they're also gonna see stuff in the background as well. Then you go, wow, look at that, that looks stunning. Well, I'm hoping for anyway. You know what I mean, so ah, oh, just took that off there. So I want that one. You see him? Mm. Just. I just put him on a different angle as well, so he's starting to swim away that way as well. You know what I mean? So you not only got different levels and different fish going up and down and stuff like that. They are at sort of the different levels now. I've got a fish that's come off here, so I need to glue this back on. So put the super glue onto that. Kept that one 
come like close here so okay. you can see it right over there, yeah? Okay. I'll wait for you. Okay, so I'm gonna I just add a little bit more foliage to the bottom, I think. And all I got, yeah, smaller little mobs, small small bits. I don't want a lot. And I want to see the foliage on the top. Yeah. yeah. So what did I say? Wrong about here, didn't I? So okay, so I'm just gonna have a look when I chop it yeah. Just to see if I, where I want him. Ah, that'd be a good spot because you can see him against the rock. Okay, so I'm gonna make my mark. Fabulous. And then and then he falls over. I think I lost it. Oh no, I might have gained it. Yeah, so now looking down at that, you're gonna see there's a big rock right behind him, and you're gonna see he'll stand out on it, which will be fantastic. Fan dabby dozy. Uh, what are we doing for? Yeah, uh, there's quite quite a lot in there, isn't it? And it's a fish you can see. You can uh, guys, Jerry, now I can see the fish, yeah, and. Hopefully, Amy. I, I mean, towards, uh, for for Facebook later, right? We we'll get some either a video, a really close video of it. Yeah. You know, what I mean, uh, maybe use one of our phones. Or my my phone's four K on your phone's four K. Anyway, mm. right, so we can maybe get some good shots of it. But start to look quite smart. I got Dean over the shoulder as well, and then you're looking. You can use my phone to say okay. Is it? <laughs> it's not wrong format. To cut. Anyway, let me catch up on some uh, comments because uh, we're thirty four into it. Family show Martin last <laughs> Yeah, uh, glad he picked up on that one. Hope, uh, hoping like a kangaroo, Thomas. Uh, excellent, Brian. Looking forward to seeing this summer when I get to the Palms visit. Uh, yes, they announced the dates. I'm good. Yeah, oh, yeah. oh that's, the, that's the cricket. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, I do watch a little bit of cricket now. Right? Who's making the coffee today? There's only one There's only one person that makes the coffee right? when he's in. He's like, oh, that's a nice shot. <laughs> That's a crack little shot there. I even see that little fishy banana. You know what I mean? You can see my the, the, right. That's enough of that. You can see my paint job is terrible. Quick, get off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't do the paint job with them properly at all. Like, you know what I mean? So, um, uh, flying fish. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Brian, glad you don't mind. Me. Uh, right, boys, talk talk about anything on this show. You know, what I mean, cricket, rugby. You know, what I mean, let's talk about rugby. Like, let's let's see. Always the, you know, what I mean, who's the European champions? Oh yes, Wales are. That's an idea. Let's go go and switch on to rugby. <coughs> Much better. So oh God, you can see Amy's, you know, what I mean, busy getting some photos for you guys later. You know, some footage. Um, you know, what I mean, I uh, just read it. Uh, looking forward to the talk. There's a uh, no complication with COVID. Oh, I think we all fingers crossed with COVID. I think at the end of the day, like you know, what I mean, it's um. It is crazy. And when we get in there, oh, actually, I have to. Uh, no, I'll keep it for elevensies because it might be a bit of not not really bad news because it might be good news for you guys. But anyway, I'll tell you later. Anyway, so look, look. that's my order for the end of the muds. Yay! So like, okay, so we've actually sold some muds. <laughs> If you're the only one to buy, please, everybody, just buy one or something like that. Because I'm saying that, I mean, I've been convinced the team that these muds are the best thing since sliced bread. And if they don't sell, I'm, I'm drawn and caught then. <laughs> you know, the amount of effort that we put into them. So, let's see now. Boom. Give it that. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit more light green greenery by here just to brighten it up. I've got a fish right there that I need to brighten it up a bit. <coughs> Yeah, I, I am no, like like Andy said, I am not a, you know, National Geographic 
I mean, David Attenborough, right? I'm not, you know what I mean? So if it's politically wrong, I do apologise. And if somebody's offended because I I, the fish is not the right colour or something like that, I humbly apologise. It's just something that I just wanted to do. Um, you know what I mean? And hopefully it, it looks good. I think it does. I think it looks wicked, to be honest. But I'm pretty sure that you, you guys on here, anyway, you know what I mean? You do want each of the course. Oh, excellent. Have you bought any uh, smooth? The smooth is the one that's wet. Yeah, Cal, and you, you know what I mean? Uh, that, that'll give you the wet effect. The coarse and the fine are dry effects, okay? Just so you know. Ah, look at that! That little bit for that just looks wicked. I love it. <laughs> I love lichen. I used to eat it. I love it. Look at these little things now. So, the smaller the detail that I put in, I the better this I, I find it looks. And because this is so bright, if I can get it standing up, it's going to look wicked. I'm shaking. Like you won't believe. Why am I shaking? Lack of coffee. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm not a shaky person. Nervous, I am. Nervous for the poor. Oh, the poor. Look at that now. Glue that now onto a bit of a rock. Onto that rock there. I'm sorry, I'm moving you now. Yeah. Where are we? Tell me where you're going first. And then let me go onto that one there then. Yeah? Okay. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to just glue that there. No, not whenever it lands. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Don't know, you know what I mean? It just picks up lovely, like, you know what I mean? Oh, on there as well. Uh, just for there. Just a small little detail. I mean, most people will never see that because I know it's there and I've done it. It just looks wicked. I'm going to do a bit of orange. Yeah, I think you need a bit more orange. <laughs> you like orange? <laughs> There's a nice tree low under there, right? So, can I get that? Go over there, right? And my, my worry is that the lighting will float to the top, but it might not because the resin might be too. The viscosity, is it, of resin might be thick enough for it to keep it down. Yeah, that type of thing. Uh, when's the resin hits, uh, that will pop. Yeah, yeah, good result for Exeter last night, the great win. Uh, brilliant, yeah, Exeter going really well. Um, blah, blah, catching up on the things. Are there any mods for the. For the steam man, for the steam. I don't, I don't sorry, man. I don't know what we're doing. Hi, no, but what Thomas? Hi, Craig. Uh, had an idea, Martin, about the applicator. I see others have started using band, uh, band around the hot box. Yeah, I've, I've spoke to Dean about this a couple of months ago about making an attachment for it. Um, but at the end of the day, the rubber band works a treat, so you know, what I mean, we should sell rubber bands with it. So. <laughs> um, only got the coolest. Uh, uh. I can't 
okay, cool, mate. Yeah, yeah. Just, just, what I'm saying is that you've got all you've got for there, Kelly, right? Is is, is dry, right? Um, if you get the water texture as well, you can put the water texture over the top of it, and that will make it wet. Okay. Um, I think it's something I'm going to have to do a short video. I'm talking to Cal, uh, talking to uh, Amy now. Uh, we might have to do a short video just to show you. You know what I mean? I won't even put it on a diorama. I just do a plain thing and and say this is how this will go with this. This that works with that. That type of thing, yeah. I'll get a rich quick idea. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm going to finish off that uh, point this point this afternoon. Right, okay. I'm gonna. Oh, wait, we are hoping gonna get to. I've got a couple more fish to to do down, and then uh, we'll have elevensies, and then Dean. Then I'll get Dean psyched up, and me and him then can uh, work. Out. You might have some shots of his butt, but you know because it's big enough. Let's face it. <laughs> Um, what call, uh, and I got the tape actually, so thank you, Sam, because Sam uh, what call, uh, has lent me some tape, uh, which apparently Dean bought, which apparently I bought. So uh, there we go. Okay, so uh, I think that's enough greenery, do you? Let's just put some fish in there. So we get some more fish into it. I've definitely got that one by there now. Yeah, okay, so let's go. Ready, one, some fish. Any more fish? One baby there? Yeah. This is going up. So it'll be a short stem going up. Put it against the worker. I'm trying to place fish. So it's not just like plonk and play, right? Oh, I've lost that spot where I just put it. Can we see anything shiny? Um, it's there somewhere. It's there somewhere. <laughs> oh, that's gone. Right, okay. Keep an eye. I'm trying to plonk fish. I was there anyway. Uh, against like uh, with with a, a rock, a large rock or something in the background, so you can, you will see it. Type thing. No, 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 no. Super glue now. It'll be all right on the night. Look, he stuck to me. <laughs> Is it? Look, it's freaking stuck to me. Really? Get off. Now. Kelly, you're not the only one to stick things to you. <laughs> and I do it on camera. Oh, and I stuck my fingers together. <laughs> right, I ate this one. Severely, this fish is gonna die. Get there and stay there. Let's go from that one. Yes, got him. Why, you little pesky things! Honest to God, I can't see him on camera. He's there, there. Because he's going that way to you, isn't he? Mm. He is a little bit drunk. <laughs> Although I just bent them over a bit. And I just noticed something as well. I only had to paint them one side. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I painted them both sides. And they were quite tricky to paint because obviously they're on the stem. Uh, well, I'm just looking to make sure that I've got a good cover. I've got the two fish left to go, plus the one that's going to be caught. So I'm just gonna go the flows. One there, 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 which is going that way. And yeah, it's coming down that way. So he's feeding the one there. This one is a down, facing down, going that way. Maybe right on the back of there. Let's be let's be really awkward. Make it really awkward for myself and put him right on the back. But I'm gonna make him Quite tall. Oh, first of all, you like some tape on it because I've got super glue on my tweezers. Okay, that's nice and 
Queen. So, grab him. I gotta see if I can get in there. So I'm gonna try and get to there, right? Okay. But I can't see him being placed, you know. Oh no, I just snapped it. Why do I make things awkward for myself? I have to repair that. Now. Where did you snap? Oh, I snapped off there. That's good. That's okay. I can repair that. So, that little thing just came off. Dog super glue. Amy, grab that. Because I'm going to need two hands because I want this up in the air. And go. Okay, so. And we repaired. Oh. Sorry, turn it on. Oh, yeah, that little one is swimming down as well. And that might be out of the water. That's not your problem. So, look. No, that's perfect. Can you, that, that, there, can you probably see him? You can probably just about see him. <laughs> I got, yeah, I got long, somewhere you actually got long tweezers. Pretty, that, that, really long anyway. I got long tweezers somewhere, so, you know what I mean, it's, um, I got tweezers here, but oh yeah, but you still, I still glue myself. It's still a gluey thing type thing. So I got one more, one more, which is swimming straight. Just, just on the look. There's nothing over here, so I put him over here. Yeah. Okay. okay I know you're gonna. It's gonna be a long shot that over there. But he's swimming straight, so I'm gonna just clip him down. Clip him down there. And I'll have him go in that way actually. I picked pick the only stone that's not glued down. Okay, that and that. Okay, can you, yeah, you got him. Yeah. It might be in the way of him. Sorry. So I'm just having him at a different angle going away from us. No, he's fine, he's fine, he's in there. And uh, he's swimming away that way, so. Wicked! You right! see him quite clearly, too. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, look at that. Wicked. Again, he's gonna hopefully. You know, I mean, the stem should disappear now, right? So. Cool. Do I am. Eagle? Huh? You're gonna do the eagle? No, the eagle will have to be done after the pole. Oh, okay. Okay, so that'll be something done next week. So next week, I'll be the, the finishing next week will be the um, so all the like you're gonna have water flow around here. So this will be do what do you use now water textures? Mm. Uh, I talk to you guys as well. <laughs> so we'll be using water textures next week. So what we'll be doing is um, <clears throat> there's a bit of green foliage that I quite like. I'm gonna put in. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is uh, <clears throat> we'll pour the resin. We'll get the, I might just put the fish actually into the, uh, into the, um, uh, into the, what I call it, whatever you call it, the talons, right? Um, glue them into that and then sort of glue the fish then afterwards and that into the water as opposed to trying to glue it in now and trying to judge it. Um, and then I can use the water, uh, our water textures then uh, to build up around it and sit it in there. Yeah, you know what I mean? So the fish looks like it's coming out of the water, being put ripped out of the water with the water effects. Because the, 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 the eagle and the fish might be the last thing to put in. Um, and then I got water ripples and they go around d different areas and stuff like that then, you know what I mean? Because whenever there's a, a break in the water, we want that flow. You know, there's still a flow in what we're working. I'm not going to do, like you've seen some guys that they've used, you know what I mean, glues and stuff like that on top and use the airbrush then to have the flow. It ruins the top. 
it's nice it looks nice but it, you can't see into it and i want this there's certain parts crystal clear yeah because we've spent all this time putting all this detail in the bottom of the of, of the riverbed i want you to see the riverbed and i want to see you, you i want the, the colors to be vibrant um so obviously we're going to clean that well I'll, I'll sand and clean the sides yeah you know what i mean so we can see through and i want the top to see through but i am going to have where it has got flow coming out we will have ripples and stuff like that through it as well then and there's, there won't be much white water because it's slow it's a slow moving water quality you know what i mean this is a this is a chilled out water river <laughs> you know what i mean so when we put that into the into the in next door into the canteen people are looking at it, they look looking at them, picturing themselves somewhere nice and hot chilled out working at f fishing so <laughs> that type of thing so yeah so i might actually get another fish dean print another fish for me and then use another fish as he's coming out or something something like that anyway so so i think this is it 25 watching great yeah brilliant yeah 25 people come on that was in the height of um <laughs> covid yeah all the way through i think i had 34 was the maximum so guys 10 you know what i mean 10 people going back to work thank you for the massive support brilliant uh, so we i got to shout to dean out this is 11 z's dean is 11 z's <laughs> <laughs> and he's got his cup in his hand on there. He's like, I ain't gonna tell him. You know what I mean? So brilliant. Um, so yeah. So just just a bit more detail. Uh, I might add a little bit more foliage. We've got all the fish in there now. Um, I'll do the fish work. Uh, the, sorry, the eagle work. I kind of made myself so much easier if I just plonked him on a plant branch up here or something like that. Like, you know what I mean? But um, oh, there we go. Uh, we'll. I'll do it. I think it's probably best to do it afterwards. I'm looking at Amy now. Because to judge that to be perfectly coming out of the out of the resin. You've the got your dipstick. Top, yeah, but it, that's only that's not accurate. Oh. And don't call me a dipstick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it, it. I would rather have the control of that being. I can build up the water effects. Mm. Yeah, let them dry as it's coming out I can then paint that white yeah as if it's trophy water yeah, okay. and I know then that that will be just out of the water just enough for that to come up because you'd have when you'd have it, this pulling it out of the water you're gonna have that whoosh splash. effect anyway you know, yeah. you know, that splash so I think that's probably best thing to do and it'll make it more interesting then for you guys to watch it for me using water textures what, what, what do you think guys what do you what do you think of that yeah you know, I mean, does that? Look, I'm looking at comments over there as well. I mean, maybe we can put the TV there. So when I'm not going to do that, <laughs> I'll, I'll be doing that then. I'll be looking stupid. Nodding. Oh yes, <laughs> the Churchill dog. I'll move it. Uh, oh, so you're going over there now, right? Oh, we 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 be moved. Like, so that that there's my model desk. Yeah, it's, we have shrunk our model desk like you won't believe. So there we go. So I'm now looking at. Oh look, there's a change of angle now. <laughs> so I'm reading comments now. Looking at you. reading comments, looking new. So. I'm not, I'm not on a fat day today as well. I normally look skinnier, but just a bit bright. You are. I'm bright, yeah, bright eyes. You know what I mean? Just um, we uh, we struggle with that. What I call it? Well, it's just gone totally dark now. No, oh, well, that's better. Anyway, you're probably better not watching me anyway. Morning, Clive. Uh, sir, thank you very much for coming in. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, good, cool. You're remodeling your, your room again. Yeah, do, do you know what? Yesterday, me and Amy spent ages. We'll have to take some photos of it. Like we five hours. We spent five hours yesterday of, of remodeling the, the. So obviously, this is the uh, uh, the uh, YouTube studio or you know, the media studio. Where, you know, it sounds posh, right? And then behind us, then we got the photography studio where obviously Josh and Amy works, right? Um, Josh is off today as well. He's not well today, like you know what I mean. So get well soon, dude. Yeah, I know. I know he's not watching, but it'll get out there to him, like, you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, we've got you know what I mean. There's a <clears throat> so we've got a nice modeling room over there, a nice room over there as well. We do all the modeling here because we film it, like you know what I mean. Like I can't do anything now without being filmed. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like text him. He's so, what do you think of this? Film it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's more cool. It. Yes, do it after the with the yeah. Thanks, Craig. I think well, quite great. Uh, I have a job interview Friday, but I've already told them I can't work on Wednesdays. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Cal, you're brilliant, mate. I love you. Then we have to have to get to. We've got to have to have t-shirts made up, and you can't work Wednesdays, Morgan and Martin. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Um, and if you haven't seen it, Craig, uh, uh, Northern Rails 44. Uh, put a little video out yesterday, right? Guys, going over and looking at right. He did um, a stone. Sorry, he did the cobblestones uh, coming through, uh, or so not coming through, but uh, erosion from. Uh, I mean, uh, asphalt erosion or tarmac, as it's called for over here. Yeah, you know, what I mean, erosion and where the cobblestones absolutely stunning. I mean, me and me and <laughs> me and um, Sam ribbed him on the weekend for it, uh, and uh, you, you had a bit of a poody, but he came back and it was better. So. <laughs> But honest to God, it looks fantastic. And yeah, do you admit, yeah, uh, are you doing any classic cobbles? <laughs> yeah, yeah, coffee time. Yeah. Well, it just walked in. Oh, yeah. No, I'm right now. <laughs> Josh has more time off on Santa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, blessing. Um, so yeah, going over and have a look at it, support this channel. Like, you know, I mean, growing, uh, a young, growing YouTuber. I, I'd say young, growing YouTuber, not a young, growing person. Right, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, support it, guys. It was really, really good. Right, and I mean, I know. I think they got something else up their sleeves as well. Uh, right, so coffee time. Okay, and then and then Dean's going to be coming in, fiddling and stuff like that. And so Dean pretty much is going to lead, take the lead on it. But I'll tell him what what, what we want to do. I've done dams before, but I just uh, uh, on time, tip top, tip job, top job, Dean on time. I can't even say it. Top job. He's early. We can't drink it yet. You're early, two minutes early. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Northern Wales, brilliant. Uh, Andy, have you got anybody on me today? Right, so we're having a chill out now, right, because I wait for the glue to dry up a bit as well. Actually, what I quickly do is just in case nothing has not gone off, so quick activator on it and then leave that dry off. It's quite, quite, it goes off quite quickly. Uh, so if you hear any noise in the background, Dean's preparing, and we're just going to go hot glue gun. All we're going to use is hot glue gun and, a t and, and masking tape, right? You know what I mean? Uh, uh, yeah, do I, you know what I mean? Yeah, me and Sam are uh, just about speaking after that. <laughs> uh, he's only being honest, Sam. That's great. So. <laughs> I mean, come on, he is known as, uh, you know what I mean? Mr. Modler, any you know what I mean? So, <laughs> so um, I'm just passing stuff over. Uh, incidentally, I've got next video, right? So my sort of my possibly bad news, good news, or whatever as you want to take it is, right? So sorry, guys. Is that I got my second COVID jab coming up on uh, the twenty second, which is a Saturday. I think it's next Saturday, isn't it? Or this Saturday? This Saturday. Uh, and I'd reacted to it last time, even remember, you know what I mean? And I had to call Martin, for, unfortunately, and really, I really got it. I had to call Martin and Martin off. Hot glue gun is the model's must have too. Yeah, it is. I ought to use hot glue gun, glue, hot glue gun, um, and I find it super glue with activator. Oh, awesome. And seafoam trees. And WWS products. <laughs> I thought I'd get that out <laughs> Because I don't often plug. Never plug. You know, oh, the wrong one. Never plug. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> uh, so yeah, I got my COVID jab. So, you know what I mean? I'm uh, I'm uh, a little bit um, a little bit worried about that one because I went down not as bad as Andy. You know, and Andy just working. And I've heard so many tales of people saying, one minute they saying that, you know, it's what some people say, oh, you second jab, you should be fine and stuff like that. And then other ones, well, oh, people having sec uh, second jab is worse. Yeah, and I had the Oxford one, which is pretty, pretty, bleh, you know what I mean? It was, I was pretty, bleh. so uh, touch wood, there it is. I'm hoping everything is fine, you know what I mean? So I hope you have your coffee, run off your coffee. I clearly, I do that, like I said first, that, and then seal it on top of that. You're not listening to me, you're not listening to me, you will never listen to me. And we need to make sure, first of all, we want to make sure it's level. This is level. Because this will be level then. Yeah. Is it level? Yeah. Are you sure? It has to be bang on level. You're doing it now. Don't do it now. We've got to do it on camera. They will shout at it. What? What? What's he, what are you smiling at? 
What are you smiling at? What are you, like, he's doing something. I don't know what he's doing. My sack mate, yeah. Oh, mate. Oh, mate, yeah. I know COVID jab should be COVID jab in it at the end of the day. You're not, you know what I mean? You haven't, like, the flu jab is the flu jab. Look at look how much that is sticking out. You're going to have to really buy that thick there. Do you know why? Feel that there, look. It's the glue. Get a, get a, um, you can't do that, you can't do that. You can't. Get, you can't. Get a, what I call it, you don't, have, you don't need to. Um, scalpel and scalp it up. Paper folding. <laughs> Paper folding. I'm not allowed to have, a, have it. Uh, I'm highly allergic to the flu jab, so they said I can't have the COVID jab until the trials and research is complete. Good God. Well, Jess, I didn't, well, I didn't even know that was a thing, so, uh, well. Um, yeah, so, uh, other news, right, okay, um, we're going to talk about COVID, you know, I mean, if it carries on, I'll, I'll jump on when we can do it, right? Uh, the other news, yay, we've actually released some, I mean, I, 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 well, that sucks, it does. Uh, Amy is chuffed because she doesn't have to put, come in soon. <laughs> Yeah, our muds, our muds and water texture are out. They know we got it. We got them done. Yeah, so um, Tams, to be fair, worked a little tail off to get it off. Yeah, you know, I mean, now she's off. Happy birthday soon to Tams as well. <laughs> oh God, you'll be fine, mate. I think this time they monitor you a lot more. You know what I mean? Because otherwise, it, 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 you know what I mean? It, it, you're not going to certainly drive home, are you? Let's face it, mate. Uh, so, yeah. So, well, there's Dean's... What can I, when I put the glue on, so I glued that on it because I should have done this before. And uh, in fairness, now, now we've got... Which is uh, what could come in... Very soon. They, they. Have you handed them over, team? The boards? Uh, not yet. They lost. Lost testing, and they'll be done. Okay, so we we're still in testing, but you know, we make sure that they're all fit. But we've got diorama boards coming out, and obviously base boards. And uh, Andy contacted me about something which I'm not going to tell you because I'm going to keep you suspense. But we're going to try and get that done, Andy. So I am still thinking about it, mate. Like not thinking about it, trying to get it prepared. Yeah, you know what I mean? I've got to make sure that I get all the stuff in. Yeah, that type of thing. Um, that's just, so I, So before I go back onto it, um, I've glued them on using, uh, I used I used the Gorilla Glue at the end, right? I used that, right? So, and obviously I haven't cleaned it off. So, <laughs> Dean's cleaning it off for me now while I talk. Yeah, and Amy's decided to film it, so thank you, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? That, I, that's a, you know, you don't see this in any other world modelers. You know what I mean? That, you know what I mean? Everybody else gets, they, they cut this bit out. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's what love modeling with Martin live. <laughs> yes. No, I didn't, man. I was, I was on my own as well because because Kath was in school. Yeah, you know what I mean? And she's a school teacher before any of you start saying anything. Wood working with Martins. Wood working with Dean. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I got to. I'm holding that one back. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's a, it'll be a cracker. So, what colour? Have you cleaned that now yet? You might have to shave that paper there as well. Yeah, I'm just better. Yeah, we just, you know what I mean? It is, like, I am, um, guys, I, it's... Dean with the sharp blade. <laughs> we may see Clara. Before. Oh, no, oh, let me tell you something about <laughs> Dean. Yeah, he's got a big smile on his face. I, well, I made sure that that knife is blunt. We've turned it around so the blunt dead is at the sharp end. Yeah, because Dean is Mr. Bleed. Yeah, you know what I mean? He's got he, he his finger. He show his finger. Yeah, yeah. Right, if you can see it. Oh my God! Did we have a bit of drama? Don't do that! For God's sake, did we have a bit of drama on that one? You know what I mean? It was shocking. So, it, it honest to God, yeah, he is. What do you call it? He, yeah, it is a. It, he is a bit of a nightmare with it. You know what I mean? So, um, 
No, no, nothing, nothing. I got. A, I don't want to promise you guys anything before. You know, and I mean, I can get it sorted, but uh, hopefully, pretty soon. See this by you. You might have to shave that down. That's fine because I can. We can. We'll cover that with plastic card. So I'm gonna finish. This one's gonna be finished, right? You know, I mean, we'll finish it with plastic card going down or something like that. Right? Um, no, I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything at all. I had a phone call last week, and then after that, we'll uh, we'll sort something up, um, and I'll I'll speak to uh, the the. Uh, the people at at, at Monaco. How deep will the resin be? I think, Jess, I got a little marker there. Yeah, see that marker there? So we're looking at that tip to that marker. So what's that? For half inch deep, say? Yeah, it's for half inch that's going to be. Uh, however, um, you know what I mean? And I'm testing, this is the resin I got, right? I'm testing it, right? To see if it's any good. If it's any good, then I'm bringing, I, I bring it in. I'm going to tell you right now, it's not going to be cheap. Right, you know what I mean? Because um, and uh, you probably find that every prices is going to go up because because of Brexit. I mean, it's as simple as that, right? Brexit is a nightmare, right? And everything's just gone so expensive; it's unbelievable, right? Um, actually, I'm so glad that we did. Uh, we had Levensies right now, and Dean's starting to mess around with that because he's doing quite a lot of work there. <laughs> you know what I mean? We would have done this on camera and work on it. So. Um, so I'm testing. Well, what we're we going to do uh, well, the, in, in the next coming weeks? Then the next week will be we'll be finishing this off. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I'm going to do loads of um, <coughs> excuse me. I'll be doing loads of uh, uh, what I call it um, detail on detailing it with the water next week. Yeah, to see what we can do. Let's see how it comes out. Yeah, I have practiced it before uh, on another little um, model that I've done. Um, you know what I mean? But what? What's the matter? Oh right, no wait, wait till Willemsies have Willemsies all up. Yeah, they have they brew at the moment, they need to concentrate. For, for the what I'm not doing a pun gonna run the last Thank you mate. Yeah, stay safe, buddy. Right, okay. Um yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, don't run too far. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? So I know you're gonna give me shit for that later, but there we go. <laughs> Stay safe. If you need anything, give me a shout, buddy. Yeah. Um, thanks for joining, Mark. Lovely. Uh, nice, nice, nice for you to come on. Um, so yeah. So um, and after that, then I'm going to be doing. Uh, we're going to do. Uh, like I said, we want to do an underwater scene. Um, you know what I mean? So I I, I messaged Dean last night uh, and turned on and said um, uh, a one word lobsters. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, you got a big smile on him. Octopus. Uh, Octopus. Oh, oh, <laughs> to, oh, we're going to have a technical pink. I can paint octopuses as well. We get Dave involved as well. He can paint some stuff, some of this stuff up. Uh, I want to, you know, I mean, now that we've used the light chain, so again, I'm going to show you now that an old model in product, like seafoam, right? We'll use seafoam trees underneath it, right? Uh, we'll use light chain underneath it. Yeah, we'll use the, all the foliages underneath it. Will the resin be clear or murky? So, uh, sorry, Jess, right at the beginning there, I've said, I'll, I'll go through it again. Um, I always want to, I want to be clear. Um, because I want, because we've put so much, we've got the fish in there now and stuff like that. I, I wanted to see through it. So, I, you know, I mean, murky, wet, murky thing is great for, uh, <clears throat> great for layouts, I think. Yeah, you know, I mean, all of, of, of pond effect or something like that, I want to. Uh, where this is a diorama, I want it nice and clear because I want you to see that because the resin really makes everything vibrant. It, it magnifies everything really smart. So I want to keep it clear. And every resin I'm going to do until I'm, I'm going to work. I'm going to try and get resin in. Once I get resin in, I'm going to work with tints. Incidentally, this is this is blue. Yeah, this is uh, uh, epoxy glue, right? Uh, and you can see the blue color there, right? So this gives you a sort of tint blue. Um, that's the tints I want us to bring in. Yeah, we'll do murky, you know what I mean? If people want murky water and stuff like that, that's just a resin pour, but we've put so much detail into the bottom of it. I want the, I want people to see that. Yeah, you know what I mean? And then obviously when we're taking photos of it and you can see through it and stuff like that, it really makes it a lot. Uh, plenty of buckets. <laughs> oh, don't <Dad>, shut up. <laughs> I know I'm dreading it. I, I did one. Uh, and I used uh, um, a, and it was that wide, yeah, and that thick, okay, uh, and that is wide as it was that. And I used, we used just tape, right? Um, oh, I tell you what we need as well before we pour. 
is the fishing weight from the resin. I know we've got glue on it and stuff like that, but to keep it keep it tight. I was thinking about it last night, and we need to, and that note to ourselves. We need to look for weights to buy, engineers weights to buy so we can sell. The cat the spillage is made. I see, yeah, the cat the spillage. And I'm hoping that nothing leaks and stuff like that. And I'm hoping that I mix it right in the mouth as well. Like, you know what I mean? So it's going to be a bit of a nerve wracking. It'll be the pour, and that will be it. It'll be finished. Yeah. So we got about probably about an hour left to do this. Uh, once we once we poured it, once it's on, once it's we dammed it up, and, and and I'm I am happy. Then we'll go for it, and this you will know in the first five minutes, don't you? You know what I mean. The first three minutes, as soon as you pour it into that corner, if it stays there and doesn't leak out, yes, yeah. And I think this is a twenty-four to forty-eight hour cure. Yeah, um, I don't know much about it at the moment. I, I got a, and I have um, done a little bit of research onto it. Like I said, I'm testing it from a company at the moment. Um, we are struggling to get stuff in. Um, That's one of the biggest things that we're struggling. I got off a cup of coffee. So, usual things, right? Whenever you're doing resin, make sure your table's level. Dean says it is. I don't reckon it isn't. Right, I've got it over here. There's nowhere near level. We're talking about two mil out, which is for two mil for resin, it's quite a lot. So, we'll make sure that we put some uh, watercolour. We're going to have to get some. Got a cardboard or something, please, mate. Right. Yeah. So we can uh, we level the model. We will, right? Okay. Um. So Jace, you said to me yes last week, right, about it being heavy, right? In the mean, and it's going to need support and stuff like that. So I've got, uh, I've literally put the frame around it. Yeah. I, I bought. Um, there's a bit of wood. Pass a bit of wood, but I need. You can. Oh, you can't. Anymore. Anyway, don't worry. I bought some wood. It's one. Bless you, Bendith okay. in Welsh. Yeah, a bit of wood, but I. I Normally, what you should do is, you know, I mean, screw it in or nail it in and then glue it. Uh, will you be sealing, sealing this water? What do you mean sealing? Oh, selling. So oh, fuck, sealing. I thought it was. Do you know why the cursor is the, the mouse cursor? Is <laughs> Look at it. I thought it was a. Uh, well, not. I don't know. I'm testing it. Right. Uh, might be too big. All I need is cardboard. This, this one's quite thin. No, but I need, we need it all in little areas, not oh, okay. in mass area. If you know, we need to snap it up. Uh, Chucked everything. <laughs> yeah, we threw everything yesterday. So, um, lift, 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 lift. yeah, they'll just rip some bit of that off or something like that, so we can do this. Stand, uh, stand the die on blocks on the ice. Uh, the table. Uh, um, that's why I got brown paper down handy, so work up. Uh, Kelly, going back to you. Um, yes, we, I'm, that's what I'm looking for. I'm testing water right now. I'm doing these dioramas and testing them to see if they're good enough to that Amy making a noise, Duncan, Duncan. Yeah, um, to see if they're good enough uh, for resale and then I'm going to stock them and sell them, right? I'm going to tell you now they're not going to be cheap. They'll hopefully be competitive with everybody else, right? But they're going to be a double double rest product. You were going to see them beforehand anyway because they're on you. Yeah, you know what I mean? Resin is resin at the end of the day. It's, it's how good we the guys are using it as well. You know what I mean? Because we all know, you know what I mean? The most nerve-wracking is, is when you pour it. Dean is prepping big style there for us as well, right? You know what I mean? Using a really sharp knife and I'm really cringing. We haven't got any claret yet. Um, <laughs> have we? Have you cut yourself yet? No, no, no you haven't cut yourself yet. So. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, so that's what I'm testing. That's why I'm keen to test, because i got little bits of sea foliage underneath there. Uh, sorry, sea foam under there. I've got a, um, a light gin under there and other stuff. Um, a lot of it is not sealed down as well. You know what I mean? The stones and stuff like that are, some of them are loose. So I'm hoping if some float, then for so be it. You know what I mean? Like I said, I'm doing the testing for you guys. I keep looking at myself, but I do know this. I'm doing the testing for you guys, right? How oh, cheesy is this? I don't, like, I mean, um, Cobra Kai. <laughs> I'm Daniel Russo right now. Yeah, I'm doing the testing for you guys, right, to make sure that uh, it, it works. Uh, and, you know, I mean, and hopefully, fingers crossed, that, 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 that this will work. So, and my throat's getting dry now because I'm yabbing, yabbing, there's lots of that stuff in the air. Okay, are we ready? I'm getting nervous. I'm getting really nervous now. So am I. We need to, we need to yeah. move that though. If it's cocked up, 
It's your fault. You can't do it up like that. You can't. There's, there's, there's loose bits of it. We'll have to do it on the floor. Other people can do it on this fling. Why are we doing it on the floor? No, no, do no. it here. Because <laughs> we're going to have to level it before. Oh, no, we'll, 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 we'll dam it, level it, and then I'll start mixing. Dun, 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 dun. I'm just going to get rid of some stuff now, so we just solely got. Um, I need to put that safe, right? Like, please, because uh, the fish is on there as well. Okay. Right, you can't do it. You're not doing that. You're doing that way. We're doing that way. Okay. We're okay. we'll both doing that way. Okay. But we've got to see that it's massive gaps. Yeah. Right? Something you'll have to. Uh, you have to damp that. So glass. And tidy. I need glass. Right, okay, so what we're going to look at now, um, so what we've got is um, uh, acrylic, yeah, clear acrylic, right? The clear acrylic, the clear acrylic will be coming off once the resin's sealed. However, I, we can see there's quite, quite big gaps in certain spots, so we'll have to put beads of, we'll have to tilt it up slightly like that. Dina, yeah, you're right. Yeah, we'll have to tilt it up like that, put a big bead on. Yeah. Stick the front on. Stick the front on. And then we'll and then we can, and then and I mean we can do that. Yeah, you know what I mean? And go from there, right? So get rid of that. I don't want that there. Okay, so Did you check my camera with Basically all we're doing now are we gonna use hot glue gun, yeah. right? Okay. Um we're gonna put a big thick layer on the front and glue this onto there. Hopefully damn the, the glue the, I, I know it does work, right? Because I've done the uh, the, the masking tape and the, what I call it then, that followed it with, dammed it up with the hot glue gun, right? So the hot glue does repel the, uh, oh, sorry, does dam the um, resin, does it, right? So all we're going to do now, we're going to go for it now, right? So nice big thick level, I have to hold it like that. Nice big, right up close to there as well, right? so as close as you can get it, okay? Hang on, I need to put my glasses on. Okay, here we go, so here we go. So this is Dean's hand, and you can see, not mine. Take out. Take out, take out, take out. Quick. Oh. If that runs on me, that's going to hurt. <laughs> and you're going to run out of glue. Okay, so nice and quick, and Dean, right? because obviously it's going to go off. There we go. And then what we're going to do now is come back over here. Right, ready? Okay, I might be that. Okay, down it goes. And then. Okay, go outside on the side. Okay, we just. All we're doing now is just applying pressure onto it right, to make sure that we've got a good seal, right? However, I have got glue sticking up here. Yes, sir, we'll trim it. We'll, we'll trim, we'll, so we're going to trim that back anyway, right? Okay. Okay, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I mean, we are going to have resin falling down into that. Yeah, but we can... We'll be sanding back. Right, okay, so we haven't got a tight fit on the front. So I'm going to talk to you now, right? You can probably see it. We haven't got a tight fit. Right? There's some bit of resin that's going to go down there. We know that, right? Um, but it's literally, a, it's going to be the prep work of sanding back. I mean, the more prep work you do now, the less sanding that you're going to do anyway, right? So so Dean, going to carry, Dean carries on the front of that. Make sure you get loads right, in that corner now, right? So because the corner is uh, it, 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 it's where it goes. Uh, and you only need to go to the certain point anyway, right? You know what I mean? So, and sort of dam it down, would right? So, all we're doing now is just damming again, right? Yeah, that's a beautiful blue. Yeah, yeah, it's, a, it's a, a Bosch one as well, you know what I mean? So, uh, we're open now that it's. Uh, have you gone right across now? Come on, call on to the table. Yeah. Make sure you go up to the, up the diode as well, right? Just go up over it if you have to. That's it. Okay. All right. And then just give it a good push and I'll push against you. Yeah. Um, 
so we are well the other thing that i'm going to do as well is you know i mean um we're going to sort of encase it as well so i so the, you won't see the wood um so i'm going to use like um maybe a black bit of acry acrylic or a bit of mdf yeah that height so that height oh i can see it there yeah can we good Glued to the table. <laughs> ah, Andy said about that. I can't be glued it to the table. Right, okay, so my turn then. Get rid of that. Okay, so let's come around here. Right, I need my um, glasses. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> pinch my glasses. Okay, so. My turn now. This is when I get nervous because I gotta make sure it's done nice and tight. Oh, and I missed. See here? I know it's gonna get in there, so I'm gonna glue that and glue across here. Don't move. So I know he's gonna apply a lot thicker area now to it. I can see some gaps coming. <clears throat> see that corner right because of the masking tape however I ain't gonna say that we're pretty much tight Don't worry about it too much because we can. I'm going to hide it. There's a resin coming over the top of it anyway, wouldn't it? I mean, yeah, just get this lamp done. Okay, I've got a lump spare as well, so I need to do Skull for it. Right, okay, so I'm just going to cut off some of the excess. Me. Oh, that's it. I've gone handheld. You might have to refresh. I don't know. Okay, so we're now freestyling it with the. Uh... Really, Amy? Just tidying up a bit. Simple. my fingers but I'm shut, shut off oh come on yep. oh snap so these are the bits that you don't see on other people's you know what I mean so talk amongst yourselves or you got uh, talk amongst yourselves that's that's more stuff for you don't give Martin the glue gun <laughs> oh look there we go there we go there we go that's your own stupid fault How did that happen? It's Dean. I don't know. It's Dean. 
It happens. <laughs> Is it her turn? No. Dean doesn't feel it, pain. <laughs> I'm just trying to just trying to tidy this area up so I ain't got loads of work to do. I don't know if that's a good idea. Well, I saw it, yeah, yeah, cleans it. Is it? Oh, super good. Oh, it cleans it. Lovely, though. <laughs> Brewer? I think so. It's gonna be rough bro over there, it's gonna sink in the bell. Yeah, we're just we can sand that polish up. Yeah. Okay, so I got areas here that it's, it's gonna it's gonna flow into. You could fill that. By the time we fuss around with it, we're better off just what I call it, just just fill it um what's it called? Sanding it back, like we said, there might be a bit of work to sand in. The, the the guys are not gonna see me doing this on camera, so <laughs> Can't clean. <laughs> <laughs> You've been watching Twin Town. Any doctor who's been on to me. Get your own glue. This is for my boats. No. Okay. Right. Okay. I think. I think. I think. I think. Can we get this? Don't bring that flat. I think what I can do. I don't know what I think I should do. I can't see. I'm just worried about that as well. A lot of resin is going to hide like a sand block stuff. Right! So there's a bit I've got to touch up. There's a few bits I've got to touch up on it now because, you know, I mean, we were manhandling it quite a bit. So I'm going to leave the glue to dry a little bit. I think, to be honest, I think that was a pretty good job. Considering that, uh, you know, I mean, it's a big, it's a big, big thing to do. You know what I mean? It's not corner blown it. Let's take the other side. Let's take the round, innit? No, it's not tape around it. You got tape around there, and you. leave it cool down a bit now right so again talk about yourself yeah you can feel the heat mm. yeah I think we're on <laughs> we're okay set a frail caught with mud I'm sick of the sight of mud <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dean's fed up of mud <laughs> we've got other people making it they're, they're making it downstairs now they're all cursing me and stuff like that because it's it's quite a lot of uh, uh it's a simple process, but off they go. All 15 of them, that's enough. I was supposed to say, cut the way it's on itself. Near we see Clara. Yeah. I was just about to say, cut away from yourself. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, that's safety, Craig. <laughs> uh, Dean doesn't do safety. You know what I mean? There's no combo. And I, I said, if, you want, if you're daft enough to cut yourself, and you daft enough to, <laughs> then it, it's your own stupid fault. That's the, that's the policy of us. So. <laughs> Tape all the way around the dial to be caught uh, uh, in one continuous line. Uh, I, I, to be honest, Craig, I think, dude, we're there. There is there is going to be some some sticking out this side and maybe some sticking out that side, right? But I think that that's easy to fix because we can just sand it back. Because they've got sand in blocks or something like that. The dial did take a little bit of a hit. Because Dean doesn't do um, finesse. <laughs> I'm just going to make sure that the fish are up, still up and running. Right, we're going to level it now, Dean. 
There's a couple girls. Uh, bang on. That's bang on that was, but it's not. What? <laughs> bang on. Is it? Like, like I said. That's bang on, that's bang on. It is running up. Table's running up. It is. Table's running up. So it needs... See? Mm. It's sloping. As long as the diorama doesn't move, we'll be alright. Uh, yeah, but I need... So I need to pack. Just pour it now for the best. No, because it'll all go one side. It will. It'll just keep pouring. No, it. <laughs> Shut up, Dean. Give it with a carbo. With a carbo. Oh, 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 cancel that. A new stirrer. Like that is saying Bob on. That's Bob on. I can't tell if that's Bob on or not because well, because that's saying it's Bob on. Is that that more from Toys R Huh? <laughs> Where's that level from? <laughs> Toys R Us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on. That's a good, that's level. I'm up with that. Oh, there's nothing wrong with this level. Yeah, shut up, you two. <laughs> Here they go, look. I'm waiting the carnage, which is out of carnage. Anyway, so let's have a, let's have a read before I... Uh, he said it record for money. Have you seen on that tape? Oh, we're wrong. We're now for the, the dreaded poor moment. Oh, yeah, grab your buckets. Yeah, I'm waiting the carnage. Just shut up. Come on, guys, have a bit of faith in me. Um, yeah, McDonald's happy meal. <laughs> Yeah, all I'm going to do is buy Dean chips. He's happy. So. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. So the resin that we got, yeah, is 100 grams, 50 grams, yeah? You know I mean? It's uh, two to one, right? Okay. Um, so I need the scales. Um, and I need... How, I'm gonna, oh, how much do you reckon? All of it. Yeah, lords. You reckon? <laughs> all of it, yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yes. So, we went on to a calculator and said it should be, I'd say, 200 grams. That's not all of that. Is that you talking a litre there? It's not going to be a litre going into that. It's only going half inch. I can pour more. I can make more. You should fill it up to this. All of it. Go on. <laughs> Stop <laughs> leaving me on. Stop it. Leave me on. Where's my cup gone? Eh? Where's my cups are gone? Right, okay, so I, I can only do a cup full anyway. Yeah, but you can make more. So, yeah, I'll make, we'll make more. We'll make more. Got our stirrers? Yeah, I've got stirrers here or something like that. Yeah, yeah. So it's just slow stirring that's all going to be now on this. Right, okay, so here we go. Here we go, guys. You know what I mean? Again, how many people have done... I mean, we've done water the other day on what I call it, right? But how many people have done this live? Yeah, you know what I mean, come on. <coughs> oh, I put all the bubbles into it. So that's 400. Make it 500, is it? I've got to stir other stuff into it as well. Right? So. That smells nice. So that's 500 grams of resin, and then we need 250 grams now of of a catalyst. Whew, I am literally breaking it. <laughs> You're not gonna get that into a cup. Amazing. 
Bubbles are all good. Right, okay, so Dean's just pointed out something lovely. I ain't gonna get all on <laughs> cup. <laughs> okay, so we just have to do it in stages as simple as, right? You know what I mean? So if I do, um, what was in there? 500 this. So if I do 200, 200, and then 100, yeah? Grams of this, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so there's 300 grams of resin there now, right? So nice and easy stirring this is, right? Okay. Nice and slow. Because we don't want to create bubbles. I hope this goes clear. <laughs> now, up the top, and then work your way down. actually see the catalyst in there. Hey, Amy's busy getting all the shots ready for the social media afterwards. Yeah, so I just literally, I use the American company, we, can, uh, we can't mention the deep pour resin. It scared me with the thin plastic card, but. Uh. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. There should be enough room in the other ones now to 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 add all this. So this will be the first layer going in. Yeah. So I'll try and get all the layer, all of it poured around it, and then you know what I mean. We can add another layer, then another layer, and then another layer on top. Yeah. Just trying to get the, get it all mixed in. I got loads of bubbles in there that I need to get rid of, so I'm just trying to get it, just keep stirring it, give it a good, good stir. Yeah, you can use the, um, the new hot air onto it, or flame to blow it off, or just use your breath, I believe, I'm gonna try that on this one. I've never tested this, guys, right, so, <laughs> yes. Am I crazy? Yes, I'm testing something on a model that I just did spend a couple of weeks doing, you know what I mean? But we, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what happens. We'll see how good we are, you know what I mean? Um, I'm happy with the model as it is, it looks fantastic. Like, you know what I mean, if the resin looks crap. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, Andy, this should not go hot. Yeah, right, okay. Um, this should, because it's a so slow cure, you shouldn't have any heat onto it so it should be fine and again so it doesn't you want to have your shrinkage and you want to have your your cracking and stuff like that he says and i hope my 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 sort of ratios are right as well but what it says on there so that is a liter and that was 500 grams so it's not it's it's two to one isn't it yeah i spoke to mark this morning and he said he confirmed with me as well Right, what do you think? Looking good to me. Do you reckon we should pour it or what? Can you get rid of those bubbles? Yeah, they'll have to come up. They'll come up as it starts to sell. As it's out through the day. 
You just have to I'm going off day as well, so you're gonna have to keep an eye on go. <laughs> right. Get the fan on it. Okay. What do you think? Yes. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> Should we do it guys or what? It's a good job you done you didn't see you didn't get a text or, or WhatsApp while you were filming. <laughs> filming that Amy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be a nightmare, gonna. I know. Sometimes I, well, when I go, when I'm stream, actually, before I go all the equipment and stuff like that, and I, um, I can see your phone on the camera. Yeah. Uh, before um, I uh, had all the equipment and started using OBS and stuff like that, I was using on the phone, and the guys used to phone me, uh, phone me, and we draw. <laughs> I'd lose the internet. Oh, it was a nightmare. And remember, well, some of you guys that were there bumping on and off. 25 people in there, guys. That's brilliant. 14 likes. Come on, Spanners. Get them, get them, get them like in. Get them like in. Right, okay. I'm trying to work out which camera to use first. Okay, I'm, I'm, here we go. Why are you two so excited? <laughs> <laughs> I'm nervous. Right, uh, put my specs on. Do I start there or should I start in the corner? What do you think? What do you, where? In I'm the gonna, middle. In the middle. Right, okay. So we're going in the middle. I got Dean filming it as well. Sure now. Guys, you ready? Do it, do it, do it, do it. Here we go. Oh, how satisfying is that? There's the fish. There's the second fish. I need to. Oh, he's going to have some fun getting it behind there. We didn't think of that, did I? Oh, there's a float there already, look. <laughs> oh, Dean. So done, bro. I got more than one, didn't we? Okay. I need to come out this way now. Look at that one. Okay. Oh, it's going to take a lot of resin. <laughs> Have we got any leakage yet, Dean? Dean shall be on leakage watch. Okay, so we're in the corner there, right? We're in the corner there. We are all around. We're quite deep. So far, so good. Okay, so. Oh, I got resin on me, no. We're looking good. I don't know whether that is. What's that? No, it's leaking. Is it? What was that? What was that? I, I think that's just where you spilled it. Yeah, I can't see it. I can't see it. Right, the problem is, can't move it. We can't move it, Dean. We need to get it flat. And we've got these knobbly bits. Okay, we level. We level. We level. We're looking good, guys. We're looking good. I think they're good, yeah. Okay, so so I just pour that into there, do you think? Scale I away so gently pour this in now we had quite a lot of um, that's quite deep in it yeah fill it up though yeah okay I'm having instructions shouted at me fill it up <laughs> I don't think we got any leakage. My side's not leaking anyway. No. Excellent. Mm. 
<laughs> I missed the day or yeah, I think I've missed the day or Andy. It's not a leak. We have to, we're flat then. Dean picked it up. We're like, oh no. <laughs> uh, but boy, guys, what do you think? It looks wicked, doesn't it? Yeah, I am mega chuffed with it. The only thing is, I'm gonna have to move something. That's floating. That's fine there. No, I don't want to float. It's gonna look crap. Everything else looks good, doesn't it? Mm. I got to go quite high anyway because that fish is tall looking. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Andy, I hope that was Dean's hands. <laughs> yeah, Dean's. Amy's got lovely hands. Have we not seen the flock nails? <laughs> Look, there's Amy's. There's Amy's. <laughs> Okay, so we got there's no bubbles to be honest. I thought there is there's loads. <laughs> Almost everyone watching our spanners. Yeah, yeah. I know. Twenty five old guys, I'm quite happy with that, you know what I mean? It's, it was interesting doing the water the water fact what ones are the ones to do then, didn't they? Uh, this was a nervous pull. I got a bit, a really, really nervous pull. Um, and we're looking pretty good. I don't think there's any leakages at all. Yeah, so it's going to take me a while to mix this one, so you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, yeah, I will drag it around. I got There's a dry spot in there, now I can drag it around and stuff like that. So it, it'll also fill up as well, so it'll naturally go over there. Literally, once this is done and I've done all the, uh, you know, what I mean, D done the, I've broke the seals on the on the edges and stuff like that, right? So we can think it's literally done then, guys, and it will be calling it quits. But to be fair, it's still a good thing. The only thing I got to do then is check, and I, I get the guys to check out. If you can come in every now and then, I'll keep an eye and stuff like that. Over there, I think it's over there. Is my top my flame? Remember the remember the thing I had. I'm gonna try with the uh, so carbon monoxide to take away the uh, take away the bubbles. Which if you blow on it, it should remove the bubbles. It should. Now I have got small amount of floating deb debris, but I don't mind that. Yeah, yeah, good. I can hear that. Cool. I don't mind the what call it. We won't we won't do it yet. <laughs> yeah. I know it's just it takes a while to mix in to be fair to it. So I'm just making sure that it's all mixed in. You can see you can see the, the, the catalyst in there. Let me make a shot on that. You can see the swirl, see the swirl in it? Oh, that's another thing I got to open now as well. It goes off. <laughs> oh, don't. Uh, the other thing I don't want to put it in there. No, the tripods are in a box. Take a tripods off. Make sure it's clean, Dean, please. Because once we finish, we'll, we'll put, if if we can, we we'll put it over it so no dust goes in. There. I won't go until we open. I know you like up it. It is lovely crystal clear to be fair, isn't it? You know what I mean? Uh, and you can see that the fish and stuff like that are gonna look stunning in it. Yeah, I've got some sprays in my Yeah, got it. Uh, just Dean's just cleaning up the box for me because I'm gonna put a box over the top if if it fits because that's quite high, so we might have to put two tub or four tubs. I hope the tubs are long enough. Yeah, if you put if that's big enough, it should be. I should have tried that this morning, didn't I? Mm. Okay. 
soon as Dean's back now, we'll uh, we'll get this one in as well, and then we'll fill it up. And then we've got a little bit of work to do then, make sure that the bubbles rise, and we keep an eye on it. Um, the only thing we have to do is measure to make sure that these fall into it. Deep. Otherwise, we'll have to get, you know, 500 mil tubs. Yeah. It might not be big enough, to be honest. If not, then we'll just have to leave it, and I'll just fib and say it's part of it. <laughs> it's not wise enough. Mm. Oh, look at that. I didn't think of that, did I? All right, don't worry. We won't, we won't cover it. We, there's not much dust in here anyway, so yeah. put that curtain around. Mm. Okay, I'm going to go call that one. Yeah, okay, here we go. Done. When you're both ready, so they all fill them in it. There's lots of bubbles in that, guys, right? So we're going to have a lot of work to do there. I'm going to put, put it there because I need it to go around there. And this now is just literally filling it up. She's right on the top. I might have to make more. Yeah, you will. I'm going to have to make a smidge more, maybe 200 grams, maybe. So, five, 700 grams of. Uh, that's the catalyst. I think. So if I do 200 grams of this, oh, switch it on, does that. And then 100 grams of this. So we've got, oh, don't, not too much now. Oh, actually, different lids. Excellent. So 700 grams of. of Resin. It's probably not going to take all that. Okay, but then I've got a tester. Then I will put. I mean, it's me touching that. I can touch what's in the cup. Okay, and oof. you can clearly see the fish. It looks stunning. Can you see him over there? That one there looks amazing. He's trying to get a shot. There's lots of you can see there's lots of bubbles and stuff like that that we're gonna have to work on now. A lot of light. Yeah. There's one. Do you see him? Yeah, yeah. Well, you can see a colour. Hmm. A different colour than what's in there. But you're not meant to see them, they camouflaged. There's one. Awesome. So that rock, if you look at that rock, is not out of the water. That's in the water. That's, yeah, it's mm. out of the water. So we'll get we'll fill that up. Then. But oh my God, is it going down? Is it more that air than that end? Do you think? Yeah, it is. So we'll have to. Can you? No, we should take this one out. It might be because take, it's take that one out. Okay. See it flowing, you see the bubbles moving. But that's yeah. Mm. But look at that un underneath. The, look at that area there. Oh, that is awesome. 
it totally and utterly transforms, doesn't it? It totally changes the, 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 the whole thing of it. Mm. What's the maximum recommended depth of a port in one hit by? Uh, I think it's about, um, I think it's about five mil. Yeah, which is a bit more than that. I'm pushing the boundaries on this one. I need to see what it is, man. I know very. I, you know, I mean, I've just been sent it to test it. Um, I'm just just gonna try it. We'll soon find out. We'll we can me clearly measure this once it's dry, right? Um, and then once it's dry, when when it's dry, we put a, I'll put a measurement on. We go from there. Uh, that'd be wicked. I want to do uh, some really elaborate scenes. I want a crocodile. Oh, that'd be good. Crocodile taking a bison or taking a no, a, a, what are they called? A water beast? No, what are, what are they? What are they called? What are they called, guys? Come on, you know, what, not water, well, not bisons. Um, What's the other? Wildebeest. Good God, man. Do you know what a wildebeest is? Uh, the two of them are not going to be blank. <laughs> What's he on about? The crocodile taking the wildebeest. Just want to make sure that we get all the mixture right. Because you can imagine having some parts that have not gone off. Oh. That's pretty level. Level, yeah. Okay, so my level's pants. Yeah, that level from Toys R Us is pants. <laughs> yeah, I think I will the beast. Yeah, I got it. I got. I put so many bubbles in this. It's unbelievable. So seven hundred grams worth of of of. Resin in here. I needed that cup. Oh. It's a matter of dilemma. Put it in this one again. Okay. Let's, make, let's do it again. Let's do it. Okay, so we're just filling up now. So I'm going to go over that. Oh, that stone is coming. The fish is in there. Yeah, that fish will be yours now. Right, just pretend to pour it so I've got a good photo of it. There we are. Okay, go on, pour. There's a hell of a lot of resin in there, guys. I've only got a little smidge of left, it's going to go into 700 grams worth of, of resin. Gone in. Hold the cup in a little bit further over. There we are. Higher. Let me get the drip. Okay, so we just, sorry, just bear with us while we just. Okay. Why, Amy just it makes my hand hurt. Right. Ooh! We just sat on a minute now, right before I touch it, okay? I don't want to touch it yet. But wow. I'm, I've just got a big, massive smile on my face. It looks wicked. It looks absolutely wicked. I'm going to break the tension here. Yeah, I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to leave a set in a minute and then I can work on it. Ooh. Our dams are working. I think.
is so close. You're talking two mil to the top. <laughs> well, I wanted a deep. So, I knew I wanted a deep. Hmm, I'm happy. Okay, so I've got a bit of work to do now. Uh, while I fill it on with it. Just the surface tensions are breaking out. That's gone, isn't it? Yeah. I'm just gonna just make sure that it's not. Ah, oh, look at that. That fell off into there. It looks stunning. Mm. And there. The surface tension on here is not too bad actually. That's worked up quite nice. There's no. There's no. That's that's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. There's no break into it. I mean, there's no bubble around it. No. Nope. Real bubbles on top, maybe. Yeah, I, I, we'll, um, we'll burst them now. The foliage bit sticking up, looks it. Mm. Leave it. I'm gonna leave it like that. The light chin has worked. The little fish right there, is stunning. You can just barely see them. Look at it. See it? Mm. Need to do about it now, there. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's seeping up, if you know what I mean. Mm. Not seeping down. Thank you. because I think I got a leak. <coughs> no! The only, other thing, the only thing I can do is maybe pop the glue gun at the base. And the base to stop it going. And then we, all we do is so if we put a, put a bead by there. And then just drag it onto it. And then I'll just drag it onto it and seal it off. <sighs> is there any breaks in the... Uh, is there any breaks in the uh, glue? No, there's no breaks. I'll leave that guy settled by that in a minute and then we'll go. Right, guys. Um. <coughs> I admit, uh, well, somebody's asking what resin I'm using. I mean, I'm testing something that's been a sample that's been sent to me, so um, it's going to be our, our resin soon as that work on it. Yes, you can use on certain resins, you can, but you can do that. Just a burst of resins, bubbles. And also, if you've got any wood and stuff like that, or any foliage sticking out, be careful because it will, you know what I mean? Catch on fire straight away. I'll do it again for a picture. Do it there, look. I'm literally on and off. Yeah, yeah I'll stand up later. I'll walk out there. I'll go over the road. There's a load there. Yeah, that's as simple as that. Okay, and then the bubbles go, but a lot more bubbles will start rising up, and then we just get rid of them again and stuff like that. So, so forth, so on, so forth. I think that might have just been. <coughs> no, I think we're alright. I don't know. I don't know. I think it might have just been what I put, what I missed for that. Mm. Fingers crossed. So, and this is where you, this is where you know, 
create a tank seal. I do a tiny hole. Oh, yeah, that could be worth it. I think, just to be honest, mate, I think it's what I I spilt and it's just seeped up into it. Yeah, the, uh, the glue gun. Well, we used the glue gun earlier on, so, you know, I mean, we, there, there is, we, we know. Um, uh, all we're going to do is put a bead on the on the table, drag it across, stick it down onto that. If it if it continues, and it, that should be fine. Then you know, what I mean, we'll do a long bead. We'll do a bead about that long, and then we'll just roll it on top, stick it down. Job done. Job finished. Um, and it wouldn't leak out on there then. So, and then we just got to peel it from the table. So there's surface tension, but there I can see. No, it's not. It's just my eyes. That's worked. A treat. That's worth the treat. So we, we pretty much got it. You know what I mean? I think the you know, my only area is the concern is here. And I think that might be just something that I've done. Like, you know what I mean? Stupidly one, one pour in it. But <laughs> I'm teasing Amy. Though. I know. I can't you got you can't put it's only like a second on there. Otherwise you it it ruins the work on it. You can't just I can't do get it. it. Well I'll bring that. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Ooh! <laughs> ah no, that's gonna be a bit of a bummer that, isn't it? What did you do? Oh I got him. Gonna be top loads of bubbles underneath there. That is a float, there, look. You can see the bottles of resin reflecting. Leave that. That looks super tidy there. Yeah. This is a Sorry guys, I'm neglecting you. Right, okay, yeah, so um, there we go. Resin poured, 10 past, 10 past 12. I think that, you know I mean? There's not a lot else we can do now. I mean, I don't think you guys want to sit here watching me just splurting up something. Um, I'll tell you any tales if it's leaked or something like that. Uh, you know what I mean? Well, <laughs> next time you see it, it's either going to be boom, full <laughs> on, or it's going to be empty. <laughs> Yeah, but other than that, yeah, you know what I mean? I think uh, we can see how low, uh, we can see a, a low view, yeah. Like, yeah, I find a heat gun does a good job with the bubbles. I don't set my thing on fire. Wow, oh, this heat, oh, I got a hair dryer. Yeah, actually, I'll try an hair dryer in a minute. Um, there we go. Yeah. Thanks, Cal. Yeah, let, let's see what it looks like at the end when it's dry. Fingers crossed. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like I said, live, live pour. Of resin uh, you know I mean and we haven't got any major issues at the moment um, we might have to fix something in a bit uh, so I'm gonna obviously leave it have some dinner see what it looks like after it if I got a leakage me and Dean will seal it um, and go from that uh, other than that I am mega chuffed for that yeah yeah you you, you will with cat uh, hopefully um Amy will get some good shots of it, Walker. But we're gonna try and leave it alone, uh, Walker, in, in a bit. When, once we peel everything off, I'm gonna have to sand it back anyway, uh, and then I'll show you then. Uh, you know, I mean, the tricks of uh, of how to make it crystal clear again, right? You know, I mean, I use wet and dry to take it off. Yeah, you know, I mean, and then we we'll do something else, all the tricks of the trades and stuff like that. So next week will be um, it'll be done, right? Um, it's literally got to dry now that's it and the more you play with it the more that you have hassle with it next week will be if it's dry and it's worked um it's looking pretty fine thank you clive yeah you know what i mean if it's dry then we'll do the, the we'll do the eagle yeah and i think that's gonna look stunning you know what i mean because mm -hmm. it's gonna have the reflection of it as well like you know what i mean so uh it, it, you know what i mean it, uh, to, amy will do some cracking photos from there um i think it's wicked to be honest I, i'm ch i'm chuffed yeah, uh, thanks guys. Right, stay, stay safe. 
Right, uh, keep an eye out for social media, so, social media bits, right? Um, you know, maybe we'll have some, uh, what do you call it? Um, <clears throat> excuse me, we'll have some um, uh, clips going out soon. Make sure you uh, post up on the Facebook group because um, uh, Craig and Sam are still judging at the moment, right? You know what I mean? For the end of the uh, end of the month, model of the month. Uh, don't forget the muds. Spread the word that the muds are out. Like and share this video as much as you like, yeah, because that was quite fun actually, and I mean quite nerve wracking and a bit of a uh, a bit fun as well with me and Dean doing this one. Um, and as usual, yeah, stay safe. Yeah, another great night. Yeah, stay safe, guys. Speak to you soon. Thanks very much for joining. Bye bye. Bye bye. And on. And on. Boycott as well. Stop streaming.